More than 700,000 recipients under the Deferred Action for Childhood Removal Program can now continue to renew their membership, which allows them to go to work, go to school, and offers them a temporary relief from deportation. In a close decision, the Supreme Court ruled that the Trump administration failed to provide an adequate reason to justify ending the DACA program. With Chief Justice Roberts writing, we address only whether the agency complied with the procedural requirement that it provide a reasoned explanation for its action. It's a pretty strong indication that the Supreme Court thinks that the Trump administration's policy makes no sense and it's not in our national interest. Um, it's not fair. It's not just. This is seen as a victory by supporters of the program, but is just a first step in allowing DACA recipients to stay in the United States. Now they'll have greater security, but this decision ought to inspire us to seek permanent comprehensive reform of a broken immigration system so they have a path to real citizenship. Meanwhile, the dissenting opinion, written by Justice Clarence Thomas, argues that DACA is substantively unlawful. I completely sympathize with a, you know, a, a young student who's valedictorian, goes to college, is now an engineer and kind of in this limbo. Um, you know, the president has offered citizenship, um, but he wants reform within immigration. Justice Thomas writes, to lawfully implement such changes, the Department of Homeland Security needed a grant of authority from Congress to either reclassify removable DACA recipients as lawfully present or to exempt the entire class of aliens covered by DACA from statutory removal procedures. Attorney Erin O'Neill Baker, who represents DACA recipients in Connecticut, says her clients can now breathe a sigh of relief. They've been um, on the edge of their seat, worried about what their future looks like. And you have to remember that 80 to 90 percent of um, the individuals with DACA are, are, are in school or working. So DACA is critical to the lifestyles and the um, the, the future of my clients and people in this country. This decision comes on the heels of another Supreme Court decision this week that ruled that employers cannot discriminate against people who are homosexual or transgender. Taylor DiCello, Fox 61 News.